Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, this is part two of why Windows 10 is fine and it has to do with something that is much easier to do on Windows 10 than on Windows 11 and although Microsoft has changed it a little bit for the browser it's still dreadfully complicated for the average user to put default apps in Windows 11. So in Windows 10, of course, the uh, default apps in settings have, if you go to apps and you go to default apps, you will have, of course, the default apps that you can choose, but you've got general categories. What do you want to have as a default email or as a default maps or a music player or photo viewer or video player or browser? That's simple. Just choose the app that you want. So you just click on it and you choose from a list and you say that that's my default. And it is default. It is default and it's default and works well. It's simple. This is what we need back in Windows 11. In Windows 11, you have to go file as, you know, the different file types and say, well, that file type is going to be with this app and there's no general yeah play videos with this whatever video it is so that is unfortunately a big problem within windows 11 and it's sad because in windows 10 just so simple and this is one of the reasons you might say you know what too complicated i don't feel like starting to you know go crazy over how to change the file type and how to change what ever my app might want to open it's just too complicated so you know what just for that reason is also a reason why the simplicity of windows 10 the fact that you know how to do it and that it's just there and it like whatever app you're going to install you know that you know you'll be able to make a default easily um, this is dreadfully missing in windows 11 it is one of the biggest complaints that you see in the feedback hub actually in windows 11 and the only one that they fixed the only thing that they fixed and it's not perfect because it doesn't actually include everything they caved in on the browser now you can easily say okay i want google chrome as the default browser but that was not that before the latest updates and so, um, and, and it's not perfect as it does miss out still on some of the different extensions that could be opened with Google Chrome. So, um, you know, if we want to find reasons why you should stay to Windows 11, well, uh, Windows 10, sorry. Well, this is another reason that you might say, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to stay here. Once again, supported until the end of 2025. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.